parts of Europe come at a time when OPEC production is at a 20-year high. OPEC cannot sit back and wait either for colder weather or uh, a, a, an expansion in, on, in the world economic sphere. They must come up with a game plan, a, a production quota uh, that's realistic and respect. Saudi Arabia convinced other OPEC members to keep production high at about like 4 million barrels. Venetian master, Rob Palmet, last fall. World oil prices were already sliding. Now the benchmark U.S. crude is down about 25% from its October high, and that's without much production from two key members, Kuwait and... This is CNN Breaking News. Hello, I'm Susan Rook at CNN Center in Atlanta. We now bring you the first live pictures of President Bush in Tokyo. The first pictures since he got sick at the official dinner Wednesday night. This is a photo opportunity before the bilateral meeting between President Bush and Prime Minister Keiichi Miyazawa. CNN's Mary Tillerson is traveling with the President. Susan, as you say, this is the first time we have seen President Bush... Prime Minister, for such a performance. Well, you have good shape. But you know one thing, uh, Mr. Prime Minister, the, uh, the wonderful flowers and cards from your associates. That's oh. very touching. And it's not that serious, but it was so sweet. Yeah, Charles, sir, is still a little over the Well, I don't think I'll go running this afternoon. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I'm still I'm still in the I take close to back to normal. This is a 24 hour thing. Apparently, I got it in the evening. So, but I really do feel pretty good with it. And uh, not, not, not as strong as I'd like to be, but strong enough to continue all of that. Are you going to slow down the pace a little bit, sir? Nope. No. Why not? Because everybody gets the flu. Some of you guys have had it. You can't change your pace because of that. This is just a 24 hour bug. I've been very lucky, lucky, not long wood for. Uh, for uh, the last three years, and uh, relatively spared the flu. I had a flu shot, so I hope that that was the start against it. But all the times for at least it's kind of the heart and all the, the EKG, all the things they do just to, to uh, double check or for perfect, absolutely perfect. Do you think you're going to get the sleeping changes on trade that you wanted instead of the piecemeal changes that you talked about? So we're going to talk about that today, but uh, the, the uh, Prime Minister is going to join us to walk it in, and we're going to have a uh, good discussion. But I'd rather wait to get uh, a full package to discuss. But if I uh, put it this way, I don't want to put words in his mouth, but I'm quite encouraged. And as you know, uh, from day one, even before we got here, the Prime Minister made his hours. Uh, approach has been one of uh, the, that I've appreciated very, very much. I think he is fit, and now the way he's driving his, his team to do what I'm doing, driving our team to come to agreement. So, would you want to add? Uh, I'm so glad to be back with you, President, that um, I think everything all right. Well, I think we uh, shortly announced our job result this afternoon, and I'm glad the President such a good shape and uh, you uh, he can now enjoy the rest of his stay here. Yeah. <laughs> so he's taking <laughs> dinner by, by you are <laughs> Thank you. this evening. So anyway, why it all went that well. A little alarm there. I felt so embarrassed. No, 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 I got to push you in the receiving line. I turned to the Prime Minister and I said, would you please excuse me? And I rushed into the men's room there. And, and uh, then I thought that had taken care of it. But back I came. It had been, oh, it's just the beginning. Are you, are you, you, you going to tell him to take it, take it easy on you today in the trade talks because you've been ill? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. President, did you see the TV pictures of, of what happened last night? Sir? I'm not sure I wanted, but I heard it was pretty dramatic. I didn't die. I didn't die. I didn't die. No. Just no. I thought nothing. Nothing ugly. Anything. No. Major. Right, please. Thank you very much. Yeah. Anyway. What? Really? Thank you, Major. Thank you very much. Hey, 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 hey,
Again, live pictures from Tokyo, the first pictures of President Bush since he got sick after, uh, during a state dinner on Wednesday night. It was a photo opportunity before a bilateral economic meeting with Prime Minister Miyazawa. I know the audio was a little bit tough to understand, but the President uh, apologized again for getting sick. He said it was very embarrassing to him personally. Uh, he thanked Prime Minister Miyazawa for his thoughtfulness, and the President described it as a 24-hour bug. He said, I am close to back to normal, but not as strong as I'd like to be. Still, he said that it wouldn't slow down his schedule particularly. He said that he and the Prime Minister will talk this afternoon about trade issues. He said uh, that the talks so far have been cooperative, but he would rather wait until there is a full package before saying anything. He did express appreciation for the Prime Minister's approach. CNN's Mary Tillotson is traveling with the President in Tokyo. Mary, what are you able to add? I think anyone who saw those startling pictures of Mr. Bush fainting, collapsing at the state dinner last night has to be relieved that he looked so much more chipper this morning. He certainly did not look chipper a few hours ago. Uh, even though, as you, as you pointed out, Susan, he says he's just got a little touch of flu and you can't change your pace because of something he implies is as insignificant as, as that, he has changed his pace. It is early afternoon now in Tokyo. Mr. Bush canceled a morning of events and rested instead. His spokesman, Marlon Fitzwater, told reporters at a very early morning briefing that Mr. Bush was still feeling a little weak, a little wobbly, because of the bout with intestinal flu. Additionally, Mr. Bush has uh, apparently canceled an appearance for tomorrow, so they're trying to ease up on him and let him get a little bit of rest. Uh, he says he would like to wait and talk about the whole package of trade agreements with Tokyo, but there are reports that Japanese officials have already put out the word that there is a compromise, an agreement that has been worked out among Japanese and U.S. trade negotiators here. No details on that agreement as yet. Uh, that probably will come out at Mr. Bush's joint news conference with Prime Minister Miyazawa later this afternoon, about three hours from now. And CNN certainly is going to attempt to carry that live. Uh, what would be apparent from what has been said publicly by the Japanese, however, is that the U.S. is satisfied that the Japanese are going to attempt to make good on promises to reduce their $40 billion trade surplus with the U.S. That was clearly the primary goal of the Bush trip to Japan. One of the big areas of contention has been uh, Japanese car sales in the U.S. that account for the biggest piece of that trade deficit between Japan and the U.S. And it looks as if they've worked out some sort of deal that would help resolve this. So Mr. Bush has had a rocky medical time here in Tokyo, but now looks as if he's feeling better. And certainly the... Uh, economic news that he may be able to talk about this afternoon appears to be fairly soothing for the administration. Susan? Mary, three quarters of that trade imbalance that you mentioned comes from the auto industry. Those talks were termed severe. They were very definitely the bone of contention between the two countries. Any word on the status of that agreement? They may have worked out things like computer software, but that's the agreement that the president really went over to get. Well, as I say, we've not got any details yet. You heard Mr. Bush himself dodge the question, but there have been all sorts of reports leaked uh, from the Japanese through the American press that, for example, Japanese car dealers will open up some of their dealerships in Japan to handle American-made autos. Uh, whether that is going to produce any real numbers that, that <laughs> help the trade balance, though, is, is problematical in that the Japanese at the same time have said that that Detroit is failing to produce cars that are especially saleable in the Japanese market. And the reality is the Japanese car market is simply not as big a one as the United States. I would think what the administration uh, is hoping for, and presumably may have won some movement toward, is Japanese uh, opening up other areas of their markets in which there are products, American products, that can compete and handily compete. Uh, I don't think anyone assumes that U.S. auto sales in Japan alone would begin to close the gap. Thank you, CNN's Mary Tillotson, and keeping us up to date from Tokyo.
Again, to reiterate, we hope to bring you live coverage of the joint news conference that Mr. Bush spoke about with Prime Minister Miyazawa. That takes place at 2.30 a.m. Eastern Time, about a little bit over an hour and a half from now. Again, to recap, the first live pictures of President Bush since he got sick Wednesday night, looking very well, very chipper, saying that he has a 24-hour bug and he is close to back to normal, but he says, not quite as strong as I'd like. We will rejoin Moneyline now in progress. I'm Susan Rook at CNN Center in Atlanta. Lower interest rates are a big incentive for U.S. companies to sell debt at cheap yields. So sell they did. 